My name is Elliot Stanton. I'm the founder of Cobweb Castle and the inventor of the Spider Keep. I'm just going to show you real quick what this is and just give you a little update on the upcoming Kickstarter campaign. So basically this is a design I came up with to house a southern house spider. And we'll go uh, real quick to some footage I shot earlier in the wild. I'll show you what the webs look like and where you can find these spiders. So here I am at my local skate park. It's a perfect environment for the southern house spider. It's a large covered area and there's lots of wooden structures for the spiders to make their webs on. I'm going to take the camera around and show you a couple of the webs and lure some of these spiders out and just show you how easy it is. Here's the typical southern house spider web. You notice the hole in the middle and the web is radiating out from that hole. Notice here too that when I'm able to get the spider to come out, I simply cover the hole where she's not able to go back in. And at this point, it would be very easy to capture her into a sandwich bag or some type of container like that. Now this is the technique I'm also using is with a piece of uh, grass to replicate an insect trapped in their web. So we're gonna look in this area right here. This is a outdoor gazebo, little picnic area type place. So I'm gonna lure a few of them out and get you to see how I do this. It's basically an electronic toothbrush mounted onto a mop handle. So 2007, I came up with this design. It has a piece of plexiglass that slides up in the front to you can have access to the front area here. Well, once the spider goes back into the back, that's the end of the story. You don't really know what's going on back there. So 2007, I started to come up with this design where it has another a dark panel, but this panel can lift up, which basically gives the spider an area where they feel secure and safe. And basically they think that they're living inside of a wall somewhere. But anyway, in the back, this part lifts up and it has basically a little viewing dome that you can um, safely observe your spider, can't escape. And this is um, basically the concept. Now you're wondering, you know, can the spider escape at all? Well, we have a screw at the top which prevents the, the this plexiglass from sliding up so even if the if the habitat is somehow gets knocked over or, or falls on the floor this will not open and the spider cannot escape and the back also has you know same thing has the dome that's secured to the wood so uh, it's an escape proof habitat put this back on there the spider feels like they are um, you know, back back secure behind a wall somewhere. And I was able to get this product stem.org certified. So I'm hoping to get these into a lot of classrooms. Uh, it allows for uh, students to closely view a spider without fear of the spider escaping or, you know, interacting with the spider at all. Basically just a way to observe a spider in the natural habitat. Now, you say, you know, is this a natural habitat? What are these sticks glued on here for? Well, basically these sticks are glued onto the uh, surface there just to give the spider something to grab onto. The spiders have little hooks on the end of each of their legs and they use those to, to move around. And this, this wood is, you know, relatively smooth. So it's a little bit difficult for a spider to, to walk around on this. Now, eventually they will make web 
you know, everywhere around in the, in the habitat. And that allows the spider to have something to walk around on. But um, that's basically the concept. I'm gonna show you a quick video of how you feed them. The, the, the behavior of the spider is, is, is very neat because when they catch their prey, they will pull it back into the back, consume it, and when they're finished, they will actually bring it down to this bottom area. Sometimes they leave it in the back, or for, but for the most part, they try to keep their webs clean. And another aspect of keeping their webs clean is um, when a spider defecates, they will actually... Um, hang off the web and, and it just falls down here on the bottom of the, the habitat. So I actually, actually come up with a you know a little piece of plexiglass here as a, I call it a rubbish tray. And you're able to take this and, and you know just wash it off with some warm water and keep it clean. So basically the spider helps to keep the habitat clean and with minimal care, you can keep this habitat um, clean as well. And just remove the little, the little dead um, insects that, that they eat every once in a while and um, it's really neat. I mean, I have the, the glass off right here. The spider is, you know, right there. She's not trying to get out. She just wants to hang out on the web. And um, you're able to feed her and interact with her and basically observe the spider. And they're, they're really neat spiders. These, these are the females. I'll show you a quick video of the male. They look very different. They're, it's a sexual dimorphism where the males and the females look totally different. And in fact, the male southern house spider often gets mistaken for the brown recluse. Um, so just with, you know, when you know what you're looking for, it's easy to tell the difference. But um, to the Kickstarter, if you are interested in checking out the Kickstarter when it, when it goes live, just go to my website, which is www.cobwebcastle.com. I have a, a, a little button there where you can leave your email. And basically when the campaign launches, I'll shoot you an email um, alert for when the campaign it goes live. And also I've been trying to connect with a lot of the insect, uh, tarantula, reptile type um, channels on YouTube. So I've been able to film with actually uh, the Tarantula Collective, uh, Clint's Reptiles, um, bugs in cyberspace, uh, Aquamax pets, tarantula haven, um, tarantula cat, and many more. So if you are fans of any of those channels, I'm sure you've probably seen this thing, you know, being featured a little bit on their channels. But um, it's coming, it's coming to quick to Kickstarter, and uh, just wanted to make a quick announcement for it.